Meltar Basic. I got my start in games about five years ago working on Borderlands 3. Fast forward three years after that, I opened up Monster Theater, an independent game studio that's honing in on that single player experience of Hollow Knight and Dead Cells and just those crispy single player experiences. We're trying to hit that. Basically, you have your gang of heroes, but what if those heroes became the villains? And it's just you and a chaotic talking sword. Our combat structure is meant to keep the player engaged at every turn. We're following a light roguelike structure where there are three acts per zone. And if you fail at the end of a third act in a zone, let's say, you go all the way back to the beginning of the first act, which I just realized is basically a roguelike Sonic the Hedgehog. I literally just, that just hit me. Anyway, the next time you run that zone, you'll be at a higher blade wing level. And that should be able to get you through unless you encounter a certain creature, but more on that leading up to release. The talking Mesometa sword that accompanies Hidalgo can transform into a variety of different attunements. A whip to unleash Hidalgo's inner vampire hunter, a pummeling hammer, a wicked broadsword, a throwable scythe, and we've reintroduced wing remnants, which are basically power-ups that enemies drop. The void crow form, and the not yet revealed publicly Spark Falcon, but more on that soon. Atomic Owl takes a lot of inspiration from indie games of the aughts. We were heavily inspired by Shovel Knight and Celeste backgrounds, so we wanted to make ours as dynamic and as interesting as possible. Imagine Cyberpunk 2077, but the inhabitants are Brood Warriors. So when Elder came to me, uh with his vision of the music for the game uh it was something that i completely wanted to do um, and something that i was quite already quite well versed in doing synthwave music so i think it was a nice combination to to get that kind of video game sound uh, of the 80s and 90s mainly the 90s uh, with the synthwave sound and kind of bring them together to make something pretty cool I want to thank Premium Edition for taking the time and reaching out to us and, and being such an amazing partner to work with on our physical editions, which right now are PS5 and Nintendo Switch. I also want to credit Morpheus Records for helping us distribute our awesome looking vinyl and Neon Demon for really putting together such incredible artwork for, for that um, limited edition vinyl as well. We want to make sure our imprint on the environment is as minimal as possible. And so to do that, we've partnered with Midgard. With Midgard's help, we've been able to see exactly how much CO2 we've emitted and get a breakdown of our scope two emissions. If you head over right now to midgard.earth slash atomic owl, you can see all of that broken down. But that's all I have. Once again, thank you so much for being here. Um, your support means everything, and with your help, we're going to get Atomic Owl out early next year.